Hi, good morning. Welcome to Escape Forever Free. Here we're a family that are working together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If you're joining us for the first time, I am Faith. Here we take steps with Faith to improve all of these faculties that we've just mentioned. Welcome to our devotional time. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for taking us to another occasion that we can worship you. We pray that you'll put a song in our hearts as you forgive us of all our iniquities. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with your love and surround us with heavenly hosts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's devotional reading comes to us from Maranatha and is entitled Pathway to Life. Before we go to our devotional reading, we do our memory text. Our memory text for this week is entitled, it's coming from Genesis 6, verse 8, rather. So it comes from Genesis 6, verse 8, and it says, But no found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Genesis 6, verse 8, But no found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Memory text, Genesis 6, verse 8, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Genesis 6 verse 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. We thank God and hope that as we end the week, we'll have it committed to memory and we'll have it to glorify his name and edify as he directs us. Amen. All right, so we go now to our devotional reading. And the key text for our devotional reading is St. Matthew 7 verses 13 and 14 and it reads enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it Again, the reading, Pathway to Life. Christ calls upon us to enter the narrow pathway where every step means a denial of self. He calls upon us to stand upon the platform of eternal truth and contend, yes, contend earnestly for the faith once delivered to the saints. As we near the time when principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places will be fully brought into the warfare against the truth with Satan's deceptive power, when Satan's deceptive power will be so great that if it were possible, he would deceive the very elect, then our discernment must be sharpened by divine enlightenment that we may not be ignorant of Satan's devices. By giving us the cooperation of the holy angels, God had made it, has made it possible for our work to be a glorious success. But success will seldom result from scattered effort. The united influence of all the united influence of all members of the church is required. The church today needs men who, like Enoch, will walk with God, revealing Christ to the world. Church members need to reach a higher standard. Heavenly messengers are waiting to communicate with those who have sunk self out of sight, whose lives are fulfilling of the words, I live, yet ye not, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. End of quote. Of such men and women must be, must the church be composed before her light can shine forth to the world in clear, distinct rays. Our views of the sun of righteousness are clouded presently by self-seeking in many cases. 
Christ is crucified afresh by many who through self-indulgence allow Satan to gain control over them. It is God's purpose that all shall be tested and tried, that he may see whether they are loyal or disloyal to the laws that govern the kingdom of heaven. And so, to the last, God permits Satan to reveal himself as a liar, a, an accuser, and a murderer. Thus, the final triumph of his people is made more marked, more glorious, more full and complete. Amen. This morning's devotional reminds us that a pathway, the pathway to life, is the one that God has instructed us as to what to do and how to do. Only so can we find ourselves on our feet, traveling upon the straight and narrow way. We cannot choose and decide of ourselves what is good and good enough for God. He has all the instruction on that. Many among us believe we are good people and indeed our actions are good, but there is only one who is good and only he can instruct us for things that are good enough for heaven. Will you choose to follow that pathway today? The pathway that God has given us by his blueprint to follow? The blueprint, the Bible? Will we seek and search after truth and light in it and quickly hasten our feet to do his will? This morning, I invite you to, as you listen to the meditational song, I pray that you'll challenge your decision to be one that is upon the path of the straight and narrow, narrow way, which is indeed the pathway to eternal life. Our hymn now, number 625, Higher Ground. So the challenge here, even in this song, will you step a little further out in faith? Will you go to higher grounds that you're now traveling in with God? If you're already Christian, what will you do for the master to make sure that the highways and the byways and the edges are being covered with the gospel of Jesus Christ? If you have not come yet, will you delay your eternal life? Will you delay your eternal destiny? Or will you seek Christ today while he might yet be found? Higher ground. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day, still pressing, praying as I onward bound, Lord plant my feet on higher ground, Lord lift me up and I shall stand, by faith on heaven's stable land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay. Though some may dwell where those abound, my prayer, my aim is higher ground. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven's stable land, a higher plane. Then I have found, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to scale the utmost height and catch a gleam of glory bright. But still I'll pray till heaven I've found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven's stable land. A higher plane 
pain than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Do you wish to go to higher grounds with God today? Let us pray about it. Father, we thank you for everyone who has stopped to listen and to join in this devotional time. As they continue this devotional hour with deeper Bible study and prayer, as this appetizer gets them wet for that, we pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit will even now move upon their consciences. Those who are walking with you already, help them to seek after higher ground, to gain heaven and to take souls with them. We pray, Father, for those who have not come yet. Father, we invite them this morning. I pray that your Holy Spirit will make a special knock upon their heart's door and they will be let in and will be let in by each person who is in the hearing of this prayer. I pray that any person in the hearing of this prayer who no wants to decide right here that they want to enter the straight and narrow path, that pathway to life, that you'll accept them now, embrace them and send your Holy Spirit to guide them through, understanding that baptism is only the beginning of the walk. The perfection happens as they continue the journey. Father, make us perfect in your name, we pray, as we stay on the narrow path and avoid by all means the broad way. Father, have your own sweet way and forgive us and keep us holy, keep us grounded and keep us climbing to higher ground until heaven we have gained. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Will you choose to travel on the straight and narrow path, the pathway to life today? Please make it your choice. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Walk good, but above all, walk with God.